There are many different types of computers, but they all use similar parts to operate. In this video, we're going to show you what these parts are and what they're used for, starting with a standard desktop model. The computer case holds the main components of the computer. This is where the actual processing happens. Today, most cases are what we call tower cases, which means they stand up vertically, but they can also come in other shapes and sizes. To view things on your computer, you'll need a monitor. The monitor uses the video processor inside your computer case to display images, text, and other content. Most monitors have an LCD or LED display, both of which are very thin so they don't take up much space. All-in-one models are even more compact since they combine the monitor and the computer case into a single unit. To interact with your computer, you'll need a keyboard and a mouse. Keyboards come in many different styles, including wireless and ergonomic. The mouse is used to control the mouse pointer on the screen, so you can click and interact with your computer. Most mice detect movement using an optical sensor on the bottom. Underneath, you'll find a small electronic eye. Laptops combine all of these things into one. That includes the components that are normally inside the computer case, plus a built-in screen, keyboard, and touchpad. The touchpad is a small touch-sensitive area that takes the place of a traditional mouse. It lets you control the mouse pointer using a drawing motion with your finger. Laptops offer the best of both worlds when it comes to portability. You can use them on the go thanks to the built-in battery, or you can connect a separate monitor, keyboard, and mouse, effectively turning your laptop into a desktop. So those are the basic parts of any computer setup. As you can see, each part plays an important role, which you'll come to understand as you spend more and more time with your computer. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.